everybody, Kerry Waldy here with the Frugal CFI introducing this video from Traverse City to Pelston with a relatively new student. We're getting them ready for their first solo cross country, which is a very fun flight. And as we as CFIs prepare you for these moments, we give you more leeway where we're not directing everything and we allow you to make some mistakes if it's uh, not dangerous, obviously. And so in this flight, we see some very interesting things. One, the planning was good. We see the route here from Traverse City to Pelston's pretty straightforward. It has a lot of good checkpoints, a lot of big lakes. And second, though, we see some details that we need to, to focus on. The altimeter setting was one of them. When you set that altimeter setting, you want it within a few feet of uh, the field elevation there. And it was m misput in the Colesman window. It, didn't, it was a mistake there made. And I noticed it at altitude, and we had to correct that. Then you see the crosswind technique on takeoff. You want to keep the that upwind wheel down, and you want to take off on that wheel last. That wing has to stay down, and you'll see, even just with a seven or eight knot wind, it wasn't that uh, strong, where the airplane started to move sideways, and then it reconnected with the uh, pavement there with the runway a little bit and you'll see a little puff of smoke where we chirp some <laughs> some rubber off the tire there so the crosswind technique in any wind if it's a crosswind it's going to affect you so it has to be strong then also staying ahead of the airplane is important we toured Mackinac Bridge and the Mackinac Bridge was beautiful at that time but coming back to the airport we were still relatively high we needed to make a frequency change we needed to get into the descent before landing checklist and so we were relatively high there and uh, that cost us uh, I, I think some on final we were a little high on final a little fast so we didn't need to work through that fortunately the runway was was long enough to where we could deal with it Overall, it was a great flight and a great learning experience, so I trust that you're going to enjoy this. Godspeed. Remember, if you can't afford to fly safely, you can't afford to fly. Traverse City Mission Kilo, 14530 observation, wind 020 at 6, visibility 10, view clouds at 3200, 12000 scattered, temperature minus 7, 2.13, altimeter 3065. Official approach to you, sunny party runway is 10 and 18. Adjust the other one, the analog one. Kilo. Traverse City Ground, Skyhawk 80507, outside Denton Hangar, taxi for takeoff with Kilo. Cessna 80507, Traverse City Ground, wind 030 at 5, would you like 18 or 10? 18 would be preferable, 507. 507, runway 18, taxi via Charlie. Taxi via Charlie to 18, 507. Fine. I, I did. This still hasn't moved at all. Right. And generally, it doesn't much. Let's run through the run-up checklist. See what happens. Right. Oh yeah. Let's, let's Yours with anything. It's pressure, temperature. Temperature still not moving. Needles. One, two. One. So let's before we make a call, let's get the rest of our frequencies in. Uh, the next one is going to be Lansing. Good. I like this staying ahead of the plane. Or twenty minutes late. 
Time is 11.20. Tower Skyhawk 80507, holding short of 18, ready for departure, heading northwest or northeast. This is 80507, Traverse State Tower, proceed on course, runway 18, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, 18507. Let's check. So check this out. You see here the upwind wheel leaving first and then a sideward movement of the aircraft and it reconnecting here, chirping a little bit of rubber off there. You gotta plant that wheel down. What was the altimeter setting? 30065. What was it? 30065. 3065. 3065. That can't be right. 14532 observation, wind 020 at 6, visibility 10, you cloud that 3200. 12000 scattered, temperature minus 70.13, altimeter 3065. Oh my goodness. Approach, you, sign All right. Runway Go ahead. 10 and 18. Okay. Yeah, just go ahead and turn that, you can scroll that. It doesn't seem right, does it? Tower Mission Kilo, 14530 observation, wind 020 at 6, visibility 10, view clouds at 3200, 12000 scattered, temperature minus 70.13, altimeter 3065. Official approach to you, sunny party runways 10 and 18. Uh, adjust the other Tower one, the analog one. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, it Tower does. Tower Mission Kilo, 14530 observation, wind 020 at 6, visibility 10. You cloud that 3, this is 3005. 1, 2,000 scattered. Temperature minus 70.13. Altimeter 3065. Official approach to you. Sunny party runways 10 and 18. Five contact your kilo. There you go. Tower Mission Kilo 14530 observation. There, now we got a little descent to do. Yep, definitely. <laughs> yeah, when something doesn't add up like that, because I'm thinking, man, we're high for 3,500, but that's why. Yeah, just keep trying them. Maybe we're a little low for them over here in this area, but let's just keep trying them.
Lansing Radio, Skyhawk 8057 on 122.2. Now flip it. Lansing Radio, Skyhawk 8057 on 122.65. Let's try 132.9 and get flight following. I wonder if that has something to do with this virus. I don't know. 132.9? Yeah. Let me make the call. Minneapolis Center, Cessna 80507, looking for flight following. November 80507, Minneapolis Center. What's the type of destination and, I'm sorry, type of aircraft and destination? We're a Cessna Skyhawk 172, and we're headed up to Plainwell uh, for a little bit. We're going to land there for a little bit, and then I'll, and then head back to Traverse City. November 80507, clock 2635. 2635, uh, 80507. And we could try to call Lansing Radio and we could not raise them to open our flight plan. So I don't know if, if it's a staffing issue or if we're too low for them. November 80507, it's probably a, an altitude thing. Um, there, they should be at normal. Uh, but I do, uh, you know, uh, if you want to go offline, I can find you a, uh, a frequency here to try to contact flight service. Uh, you are radar contact about 20 northeast of Traverse City at this time. Um, tell us altimeter is 3066. In that area, you could try uh, 122.65 to open the view of our flight plan. Okay, that's what we've been trying on. Uh, we'll flip over there and uh, call you on the way back. Roger, and 122.2 is also another one you could try on uh, maybe I'll see. Uh, Roger. Uh, we'll, we'll head over to flight service and I'll check in with you on the way over. Air Canada 785, contact Minneapolis Center 123.72. Go ahead. That's the pro uh, all right.
That's the VOR. Right. I'm heading towards the VOR. That's not a good thing. <laughs> I mean, it is if you want to go there. Not where I want to go. Okay. I kind of want to go there. Yeah. All right. See the airport right there. Right there? Yep. Okay. Uh, so, uh, uh, this Minneapolis Center, five, uh, 507. Uh, looking for a frequency change? Yeah, switching to advisories. Minneapolis Center, Skyhawk 80507, looking for a frequency change advisory. November 80507, you can change over to advisories at Pelston. And uh, do you guys want to just keep this code for your way back to Traverse City? Affirmative. 507. For 507, Roger, just uh, squawk this code and call me when you're on your way back to Traverse City. We'll go, 507. 